Alright, so for this problem we're trying to find the maximum value of the average normal stress in the links connecting points B and D. So we're going to have a link right here connecting the two points and then another link that is actually on this other side. It's kind of hard to see. So there's two links here. So when we have two links we know that we're going to have a scenario where we have double shear. And when we have double shear our formula for the average stress is going to be P over 2A since there are two links here. So what I'm going to go ahead and start off by doing is finding the area and then to do that I'm going to go ahead and draw a cross section. So it's going to fail up here on the drawing at this point here where we have the pin that's going to be our weak spot so I'm going to go ahead and sketch that point so this is where the pin is in the middle and then this is still metal on the other two sides of it and we are given the diameter of the pin so I'm going to go ahead and draw that in which is 16 millimeters and we're also given the cross section of the link the dimensions of the link which is our height is going to be 8 millimeters and our length is going to be 36 millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out the area and we know that it's going to be our length times our height and our length is going to be this whole 36 minus this middle part which is 16. I'm going to go ahead and change these to meters really quick while I'm doing this just to make it simpler for our, our math. So 0 0.036 meters minus the center part which is 0 0.016 meters and then times the height which is 0 0.008 meters and we're going to get that our area is equal to 0 0.00016 meters squared and so now we need to figure out what the force is that's going through this link and so to do that we're going to go ahead and draw a free body diagram and I'm going to make our positive x going to the right positive y going up as normal and I'm going to go ahead and sketch this little top handle part. And we're going to have our force P coming up here. We're going to have a force from the two links, which I'm just going to call FBD because the link goes between those two points. And then we have another link over on this side that goes between points C and E. And so this point here is point A. This is point B. This is point C, and so we want to find this force that's going through the link from B to D. So we want this force here, FBD, and we know this force P up here. We don't know this force CE, so I can take a moment at point C, some of the moments at point C, set that equal to zero, and then we need to go up and get our distances. So we have 0.4 from C to B. 0.25 from B to A, so we're going to have 0 0.4 times FBD, that's a positive moment, and then the force P creates a negative moment, so we're going to have a minus distance 0 0.65, and then P is 22,000 newtons, and that was 22 kilonewtons. I just went ahead and changed it to newtons to keep everything with the same units. And solving for FBD, we get that FBD is equal to 30, excuse me, 35,750 newtons. So now we have the force, we have our area, and we can go ahead and solve this formula here. Plugging in P. 35,750 newtons and then plugging in the area 0 0.00016 meters squared. So we know that a newton per meter squared is the same thing as a pascal. So solving this here we're going to get a very large number 1117187750 and that's pascals. So we can convert to megapascals just by moving this decimal over six spots, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen
two, three, four, five, six. And we get that our average stress is equal to 111.7 megapascals. And they wanted their answer in megapascals. So that's going to be it for this problem.